Well, it's story time, boys and girls, and it's not a good one. If you know me, I'm in the medical field and I'm a numbers guy. So this is not good. Cancer.org. Okay, scoot over. Cancer.org. In 19, we have a chart for the United States of the four major cancer groups. I circled younger than 45, the cancers, because I'm going to be honest, in the medical field, this is not your typical age range for any cancer upticks. I mean, cancer is bad in any of these age columns. We don't want it at all. But when you start talking about statistics and data, this is this is an odd age range to have cancer sense. But so we, we look at this like what's going on. OK, now in 19. I'm looking specifically at the breast uh, for female category because I care more about our females. They populate the earth and uh, they feed the young, okay, with their with the breasts. So look at in 19, 26,660. Now, if you're like, okay, well, what's our baseline? Like, where do we start at? Well, let's start here. And then I'll, I'm not, again, it's not a bash. This is, You'll see where I'm going with this, okay? Okay, so in 19, let's say our baseline is 26,660. That's not good numbers, man. I want zero, right? Let's look at 2020. 2020, same chart, cancer.org. Okay, I circled the years and the same column. Look at the bottom. All right, so you're like, James, it's the same, damn near. It's actually 100 less. We're coming down, okay? So we're tracking baseline 19, 20, 26,500, okay? What happened in 2020? What was introduced that usually it but took like a year to get it really fully ongoing with most people. And if you know anything in medicine, how long does stuff like this introduce to the body, this particular kind of thing introduced to the body, how long does it take to like show itself if anything's gonna be abnormal with the body? Okay, let's look at what comes next. 2021, same website, same chart, look at the bottom. 26,510. Oh, James, it's not going anywhere. We're, we're baseline and tracking at the same. It seems like we're going to, that's what we got every year. It's a thing. That's what we got. Okay. 2022. Take a look at the bottom. 47,000. Now, again, numbers 19, 20, 21. Here, all of a sudden, spike, double. So something happened. Something happened. You can't, something off, something's weird, something is different, something is going on. <clears throat> so um, we're never going to get the truth on the jab and its side effects when they don't do studies on them, other than just telling us the studies they've done shows efficacy. So something is going on now in 2022. What all, oh, James, that was just a fluke. That was just a fluke. You know, it was a bad year. It was a bad year, 2022. 2023, cancer.org, they don't have the same chart yet to look at because it's not done yet, comprising of the data. So it looks like this. Same website. Look at the bottom. Female breasts all the way down, 297,000. 297,000, and the year ain't over yet. What the fuck is going on with cancer and the breasts and things like that for females? What's going on? You can't be... A brain wearing having person, okay, wearing you can't have brain and be like, yeah, it's you know, it's, yeah, that's just what happens. We just you know, it goes like this. No, okay. So just to point that out a little, a little closer here. That's a problem. Something's going on here, and it's not nineteen, not twenty, not twenty one, twenty two, and twenty three. There is a huge boom in cancer, especially in female breast cancer in younger ages of 45 and down below. What, what happened that could have caused this? Tell me.